Hey guys, so today we're gonna be installing the 589 skid plates. I have the full set minus the front one that works with their front bumper. So I have the engine, transmission, and transfer case. Good. All right guys, so we got the first, uh, with, with the installation you work from the back forward. So we have the transfer case um, kind of held up in place here. And if you look, the way that I'm doing this is I put these front two bolts in. Um, these on the 17 and newer ZR2 are already drilled and tapped. Um, so those bolts just go in, you no need to uh, drill or tap anything there. And that will line up these rear two holes. It's probably a little dark, um, but you have a hole here and a hole here that you'll have to drill. And putting this skid, place, this skid plate in place shows you where you need to drill those two holes. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna drill those holes out, put a riv nut in, and we'll show you that. All right, so the next step is putting these riv nuts in these holes. Um, so you'll be able to put bolts in them. There's one and another one already on my riv nut tool here. If you don't have a riv nut tool, I would strongly suggest getting one. Um, I've, I've tried to use the little bolt that comes with, uh, that comes with them and I think it's horrible. Um, I, I fought with it for a long time and I finally end up, ended up stopping and buying the rib nut tool. So if you don't have one of these, get one. It makes your life a lot easier. So that's what it will look like once it's installed. One down, one to go. This is a really difficult spot to work. Typically, if you uh, are in a position with better leverage, it is not that, that hard, but that was very hard. So now that we have our two rib nuts installed, we should be able to hang the skid plate from these two bolts. And um, we're not gonna put these front three in right away because that will be, those three will be put in um, with the transmission skid. So yeah, we'll uh, move to the front and work on the engine skid. Um, just cause we have to take off the factory skid. Um, We have to take off the factory skid to do the transmission skid. So that's what we'll do next. Go. All right, so I took the factory skid plates off and now this is the skid plate support bracket from 589. And I've heard it's a tight fit. It looks like that is going to be correct. Uh, no hardware associated with this. We're just gonna see if we can press it on here. <sighs> So I wasn't able to get that pushed on. I'm gonna get a rubber mallet and see if we can do that. Good. Yep. All right, so that's all it took. A little help from a rubber mallet and we got that installed. So now we can put our engine skid plate on. holding it up so let's see if I can run an impact left-handed. 
helps if you go the right way. Yeah, it kind of helps. So it'd be really nice if I had a second set of hands, but unfortunately, my wife is the cameraman. So thanks to her for filming that. You're welcome. <laughs> Now that we got two in, there is a spacer right here, and this goes above the skid plate on this back side. So you can fit it in there like so, and then put your bolts in the back. Oh, actually we're going to have to take these out for the... I'm not going to put those in because we need to put the transmission skid plate up there with it. Okay. Alright, so it's very much a do this before that and that before this kind of process trying to get these on. Um, since they all use the same bolts to go on, um, the I have everything kind of held in place. This is the last skid plate that should have been the first skid plate. It's just quite confusing. So this is gonna go up in place here. And go on with like that. So we have the back two on, but I'm going to keep everything loose until everything is on because it's all got to move still. So I'm going to come up here. And put two bolts through the transfer case skid, the transmission skid, and into the frame. Man, maybe become Captain America before attempting to install these skid plates so your arms don't get tired holding them up here for two days. Yeah, I gotta have my wife help me, guys, so she's gonna set the camera down.